French figure painter, educator, and theorist, Jules Joseph Lefebvre fulfilled his dreams of becoming a painter who excelled in painting precisely executed portraits and of becoming a teacher. During his long career, he earned three Salon medals, was appointed to the French Academy of Fine Arts, and attained the rank of commander in the Legion of Honor. Between 1855 and 1898, he exhibited 72 portraits in the Paris Salon. Many of his paintings are of beautiful women figures and portraits. Jules Lefebvre was better than anyone else with his ability with the brush. His strokes were both delicate and confident undulating the contour of the feminine form. Jules Joseph Lefebvre was born in Tournon, France on March 14, 1836. He studied at the prestigious École des Beaux-Arts in Paris in the 1850s. In 1861, he won the Prix de Rome, a scholarship sponsored by the French government for the study at the French Academy in Rome. While in Rome, Lefebvre was strongly influenced by the work of Italian Renaissance painter Andrea del Sarto. Winning the Prix de Rome and studying in Rome for five years was a sure way to a successful career for any young artist, so Lefebvre took full advantage of this opportunity. Later, in 1866, he lost both of his parents and his sister. Losing family members sent him into a severe depression. In 1868, he exhibited at the Salon, which, unlike his last significant work, won him much praise. Two years later, his Allegory of Truth became his first great success. A beautiful young woman holds up a mirror which was the conventional symbol of truth. This symbol, though, is at the very top of the painting so in order to see it, one's eye has to caress the sensuous, feminine curves over the length of the outstretched figure. Shortly after the success of the Allegory of Truth, he was made an officer in the Legion of Honor. What followed in the decades to come were variations on truth. In the 1870s, he became a teacher at the Académie Julien. This artist studio trained women artists as well as men over a decade before they were also permitted into a Col des Beaux-Arts.
the Académie Julienne, it was said that Lefebvre insisted that his students used absolute precision in their life drawings. He became the most admired and sought-after teacher of American expatriates who came to Paris to study. Among his most famous American students were Child Hassam, Frank Benson, and Edmund Tarbell. Following the success of Truth, his accolades kept accumulating, having won increasingly significant acclaim at the Universal Expositions, he ended up winning the grand prize in 1889. In 1891, he was made a member of the Académie des Beaux-Arts, and in 1898, he was promoted to commander in the Legion of Honor. Lefebvre died in Paris on February 24, 1911, and was buried in the Montmartre Cemetery with a bas-relief depiction of his painting La Verité or otherwise known as the truth on his grave. Thank you so much for watching our video. It means the world to us. See you in the following video.